So welcome to another Bootstrap tutorial and in this video we're going to be looking at the fluid grid system in Bootstrap. Now this system is basically what we're using for this. So it divides our page up into as many sections as you want. So this can take up to 12 sections and you can also use multiples in sections. So uh, basically we have 12 sections and you could have a section that is three wide and then a section that another section that's three wide and then a section that's six wide and as long as all your sections add up to 12 uh, you'll be good to go and they all stack like this uh, horizontally and when you push it down to a mobile size it sort of readjusts itself to go vertically so this is how powerful bootstrap is it has this really simple to go division system so we're going to be creating all of these uh, divisions as I'd call them I don't know what you'd really call them uh, they're grids but yeah we're going to be creating four of them for shared hosting dedicated hosting vps hosting and email hosting and of course we could have two that are this size and then one that is just twice as big or something or you could have it however you want but for this example they're all going to be the same size so let's go back to that and i'll put that over there and that over there right so this is going underneath our a hero unit so just create some space under there now the first thing we want to do is create a container so div class is equal to container so this is going to ensure that it is responsive and it fits on our page properly the next thing we want is this is a div and this is going to have a class of row dash fluid now this is going to be used to set up this fluid grid system and all of your grids are going to go inside here so these are just standard bootstrap classes inside here is where we're going to have each grid so a grid is a div so we can do that and then they have a class now I said that they add up to 12 so what we do is if class is equal to span and then you put the number which has to go inside 12 so for this case we're going to be using span 3 so if all of them are span 3 we can fit 4 in there because 3 times 4 is 12 uh, I'll leave a link to the bootstrap documentation about this below in case I'm making no sense of this but basically you have 12 slots so this is going to take up 3 of those slots in a sense um, and inside here what we're going to have is a header 4 and by the way you can have normal HTML inside these classes this is going to be shared hosting and we'll have a paragraph that should be up there we'll have a paragraph in there and I'm just going to copy and paste some lorem ipsum text into this paragraph tags so save that so now if we go and have a look in here and we refresh you see we've got shared hosting and it's only taking up one quarter of the entire container and that is because we use span 3 and there are 4 sets of 3 in 12 so now we can just copy this and duplicate it remember this will only work 4 times because 3 will only fit in 4 times so now if we refresh that you see we've got 4 of them if we were to put a 5th one in there oh, I just closed that I'll come back to that now it just messes up so don't do it uh, and I need to go reopen that because I just closed it. Right, okay, so what we can do now is we can just change these to dedicated, dedicated hosting, VPS servers, and email hosting. Okay, so if we save that, refresh, and we need to remove the first one because we only want four in there, remember? refresh that and it's all looking good uh, last thing I'm going to do is add a button underneath each one so this is going to be exactly like how we did it in our hero unit just like that so what we'll do here is a class is equal to btn and we'll also have a href equal, for, equal to and then hash and we'll go view pricing or view plans or whatever you want. I'll go view plans. 
I'm going to copy that just to save some time. Just under each paragraph tag, save it, and refresh, and it's all looking really good. So now we've got these buttons here, obviously they don't do anything. Um, in the next tutorial we'll be looking at modals, which will give us this pop-up box. And after that tutorial we'll be looking at these tables. So that's it for this tutorial, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next tutorial.